I thought I'd do a little video today. Um, we're now in the back end of October 2017. And the weather here in the UK has been abysmal. It really has. It's been raining, it's been blowing, it's been not ideal to fly at all. As we all know, trying to get out there flying with the drones. It's, we're, it's very weather permitting, unfortunately. But having said that, I am currently on my way over to the other side of Bedfordshire. Um, I've seen a little field, um, like an old sort of barn area as well. So I'm going to go and have a look, go and scout it out today to see if one, if the landowner's there as well, to see if I can get permission, and two, just to see how frequently it's used, whether it's, you know, we can get some vehicles in there as well. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is if, if I can get um, owner's permission to, uh, or landowner's permission to, to fly from there, what I'm thinking is, because it's got a brilliant barn by the looks of it on the, on the maps, is we could possibly use that for filming, you know, using the Typhoon H's, you know, or 520s, or whatever you've got, multi-rotor-wise. I've brought with me today my 480, um, my 690S Tarot that I built, and I've also got uh, an Immersion RC Vortex 250 Pro. Now I'm just getting into acro flying and learning how to fly, or manual, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm looking at more the freestyle side of things, although I do like watching like, drone racing, if you like, and I think you know, those guys have got some serious, serious skills. I'm nowhere near that by any way, shape or form. Um, I'm just learning just to friggin' fly the thing, you know. But we've all got to start somewhere. It's all baby steps, you know, we're not going to pick it up straight away. So I'm going to try and utilise as much time as I possibly can um, by doing a bit of uh, FPV flying. So I've um, got some Fat Shark Attitude version 2 um, that have been modded. So they've got the fan on the top as well. Now, I've, not, I've done a bit of FPV flying, but not with goggles, with just a screen in front of me, so you've still got your peripheral vision, which is okay, but I want to be really sort of immersed in the whole FPV flying, and the only way you can do that really is wearing goggles. And it's a completely different experience. You, you lose your spatial awareness of what's going on around you. Um, and it's, it's an amazing feeling. I've so, so far only flown um, angle and horizon. Horizon I flew across the fields at the bottom of my garden um, so I could do a couple of flips and bits and bobs as well just to sort of learn how to play with the throttle, the yaw, the pitch and roll. But I want something to really sort of wring it by its neck and just grab hold and throw it around the skies. But we've got to, we've got to practice, we've got to crash a few, we've got to, you know, repair it and hopefully I don't break it too much. Um, I'm looking to get a, um, a camera to go on the front of it. At the moment I'm running SJ Cam, uh, SJ4000, the later model with a 2K or a 1080 60 frame uh, version, which is great. Um, but I'm looking at getting a GoPro Hero 5 session, just looking at a few videos on them. That's what pretty much most of the guys that do that sort of freestyle sport is what, what they use. So, it's, and the picture quality that comes off it is just amazing. My SJ cam, cam is just, it's like probably about 50, 60 pounds now, you know, it's not. It's a very inexpensive thing, but it's good, it serves a purpose until I get somewhere where I want to be, where I'm not too worried about sticking a 200 odd pound camera on the um, on the front of uh, something that I possibly may explode. You never know, but we'll see. We'll get there, baby steps as they say, and we'll see what happens really. So, uh, yeah. Hello again, well, I've just got here into the woods and so far it's looking quite good. So I was going to go for a little walk, a little scout around and uh, I think that's the barn I was talking about up there. So if we have a look up there, just in, just up there, but we'll see. Yeah, so I think this could be a good little area for a fly. The only thing that I'm looking at is the fact that horse riders use it. And there's a thing notes down there, cyclists as well. Obviously you've got to be a bit mindful for everyone. I didn't see any notices to say that you can't use drones or do anything like that here. 
Um, it doesn't say anything like a national park or anything like that. Um, it's a charity run thing, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it's a nice open space. It's, um, it's, I've seen some people walking their dogs on the rail, so it's going to be very, very mindful about where we go, what we do, and how we fly. But I think this could be a brilliant little spot for a bit of flight. And when I say that, for um, a bit of a flight, if I was good enough, I could fly through this. Oh, this could be sweet. Wires. Oh, this is a brilliant little spot. It's only like sort of 10 15 minutes up the road from my house. Happy days. Let's get some uh, aircraft out and give it a fly. So then if I bring the 480 up and 250, um, give it a go. Let's have a little look see. Why not, eh? Off now to Milton Keynes. Gonna go over and look at the Peace Pagoda. A little bit of artwork around there. Nice area, a nice lake over there as well. So have a little fly around there and I'll show you some footage from that.
I'm now on my way to Delapree Park in Northampton to go and meet uh, one of my fellow UAV pilots as part of the uh, Typhoon H Tarts multi rotors page. We have a little fly there today. I've already put a, a notification out on the Drone Assist app. And we're there for a few hours, uh, starting from 12 o'clock, so won't start anything up till 12. So I've got three hours there to uh, burn a couple of packs in the sky. Yeah, so uh, it's a nice, nice park, nice wide open area. And uh, flown there before now, a group of us got together and it was really, really good. So um, we're going there today. The sky's not brilliant, it's overcast, there's some breaks in the clouds, but do you know what? It's one of those days where you're just itching to get out and fly, so why not? You know, Mrs. has gone out with her mum for a birthday treat for her mum, and um, well, why not take this opportunity to have a little fly? Yes. Oh,